Last year, the Eastern Westmoreland Career and Technology Center created a robot that was the national grand champion in Indianapolis. This year, Eastern Westmoreland CTC entered a robot named Mayhem, and it lived up to its name. Coming off of a national competition victory last year, Eastern Westmoreland Career and Technology Center's current team had some big shoes to fill. Our robot's name is Mayhem. We're really pumped to, you know, finally come down here. We've been waiting since September to hit something with this robot. Team designer Kristen Robinson says a lot of thought has gone into building Mayhem. I designed the entire thing, and I used concepts that we created at the beginning of the year, like what we wanted to be able to do, like what weapon type we wanted, what defense we wanted, and I tried integrating it all into the robot, and that was how we got Mayhem. But even with the preparation, the Bots IQ competition is still fierce. The first match we went into, though, we actually went weapon to weapon with our opponent, and it broke. So that was surprising to us, but we brought it back up and we fixed everything up, so we're ready to go for round two. Part of the learning experience is that the students must repair the robots themselves. If they get caught with a parent or teacher helping, it's a 10-second penalty. But this team is doing what they need to do to get back out in the arena. Honestly, the competition is rough, but we're just really happy that we can be a part of something this big. Go EWCTC! Ryan, Kristen, thanks, and a great job, too. Now, let's go back to the Cal U Arena for another exciting Robot Rumble. This is one of the semifinals featuring Plum High School's Still in Shock 2 versus Eastern Westmoreland CTC's Titaniacs Mayhem. Once again, Chad McGreeth has the play-by-play. -play. Three, two, one. Congratulations to Plum High School. So far tonight, you've met several young women who were involved in Bots IQ. Each year, the number of young women